Once upon a time, there lived a humble peasant. One day, he decided that he'd had enough of living a life of poverty, and so he set out to find something better for him and his family. He set out to build his own kingdom. Anyway, hey guys, welcome back to another Medieval Engineers video. <laughs> so that little intro there just kind of set the scene for what's going on. In this video, I look at my uh, the first castle I built and kind of my experiences with it and yeah, I'm pretty happy how it turned out. I mean, I haven't finished it yet, but this kind of shows the basic uh, outside. Um, so yeah, I took a while to find a good spot to build it. I, I couldn't decide whether to build low or high, but I was pretty ambitious for my first one. I should have probably built on flat land, but I thought, nah, screw it, just go up a mountain, just build it on a mountain. So I did. So I found one of the highest mountains and there's a there's lovely big cliff. And yeah, I had a great view over the valley and I thought, look at that, I can see for miles. So yeah, that was the best spot I thought. Um, it took me a while to build, so I'm not going to actually show you the whole experience. I'm just going to show you a time lapse of me building it. So I'll be quiet and you can just watch. So there we have it. The main castle and the walls are complete. It took me like over the last weekend to build it. I mean, that's probably because I was still learning the control well, and all the blocks I had at my disposal. So I'm sure if I built it again now, I would probably build a lot quicker. It is just the outside and the walls at the moment. I mean, the inside is pretty empty, but I want it to be intricate and grand with you know big halls and rooms armories and all kind of crazy stuff i also want these two courtyards to look busier I have some barrels and some stools some chests i'm just going to fly through the window and have a look at the entrance here it's work in progress just pretty simple right now Here's the main door We've got a lovely king statue there very nice. The castle is surrounded by steep cliffs on um, three of the sides. And it's got a mountain path at the back around the side of the mountain leading to the entrance. I really can't wait to actually try defending this castle and you know having the archers and the walls and the catapults in position. But I guess we're gonna have to wait for multiplayer for that. It's gonna be very good. I haven't got any mechanical features either yet. I mean, I need a drawbridge or a gate for the main entrance, but I'm still to experiment with mechanical stuff. I am really happy with the position of the castle because realistically, you can only attack from the main entrance because the, the cliffs at the front are just too, too steep to climb, I think, leaving you the main entrance and maybe the right side 
I don't even want to think about trying to build this in survival. I think it would take you so long to gather the materials and then process them and then finally construct this thing. I mean, it's going to take a lot of time and a lot of manpower. See the nice view again from the top up here? Looking lovely. Like I said in the last video, if you've got any questions for me about either the game or the castle, um, if you leave them below, I'll try to answer them as best I can. And also, if there's anything you want to see me do um, before you buy the game in the next couple of weeks, then yeah, leave the uh, idea below and I'll see if I can show you. There's no view from the bottom of the valley, kind of looking up the cliff. Shows you just how high up the castle is. Yeah, later on I also tried uh, kitting it out with some catapults. These were just the generic ones, and I think if I to do it properly, I would want ones that didn't have wheels and they just kind of span around on an axis. So yeah, that's basically it for today, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and you like my castle. So stay tuned. I've got another video coming in the next couple of days showing some destruction. Um, yeah, and I will see you guys next time.